Lord Narsimha is an important incarnation of Lord Vishnu, the preserver and protector of the universe according to Hindu Puranas. The story of Lord Narsimha avatar also known as the man lion avatar is an awe inspiring tale of divine intervention and the triumph of good over evil. The story begins with a powerful demon king named Hiranyakashipu. He had obtained a boon from Lord Brahma, the creator of the universe, which made him virtually indestructible. Hiranyakashipu became arrogant and believed that he was invincible, challenging the gods and demanding that everyone worship him instead of the divine deities. However, Hiranyakashipu's own son Pralada was a devout devotee of Lord Vishnu. Despite being raised in the Demon King's palace, Pralada remained faithful to his belief in the supreme power of Lord Vishnu. This angered Hiranyakashipu and he attempted to kill Pralada on multiple occasions, but each time Pralada's unwavering faith in Lord Vishnu protected him from harm. Finally, Hiranyakashipu grew desperate and resorted to extreme measures. He sought the help of his demoness sister Holika, who possessed a cloak that could protect her from fire. Together, they devised a plan to eliminate Pralada. Holika sat on a pyre with Pralada in her lap, hoping to burn him while she remained unharmed. However, Lord Vishnu, seeing the innocent Pralada's devotion, decided to intervene. As the fire blazed, Lord Vishnu appeared in his fearsome form as Lord Narsimha, a half man, half lion creature. With a thunderous roar, Lord Narsimha tore through the pyre and pounced on Holika, obliterating her instantly. This event is celebrated as the festival of Holi, where the triumph of good over evil is commemorated by burning effigies of Holika. Having eliminated the immediate threat, Lord Narsimha turned his attention to Hiranyakashipu. The demon king was initially amused by the peculiar form of the deity, thinking that Lord Vishnu's boon had been invalidated as he did not take a traditional form. He challenged Lord Narsimha, hoping to defeat him. A fierce battle ensued between the divine and the demon. Lord Narsimha fought with unparalleled ferocity, neither fully human nor fully animal, utilizing his immense strength and agility to overpower Hiranyakashipu. The battle took place at dusk when it was neither day nor night and in the doorway of Hiranyakashipu's palace which was neither indoors or outdoors. As the fight progressed, Lord Narsimha finally gained the upper hand. He grabbed Hiranyakashipu, placed him on his lap and with his sharp claws tore apart the demon king's chest thereby fulfilling the boon that no man, god or beast could kill him. Lord Narsimha's form represented the perfect balance between the divine and the animal, symbolizing that God can manifest in various forms to protect righteousness. With Hiranyakashipu defeated, Pralada was crowned as the rightful king, and Lord Narsimha continued to be revered as a powerful deity and protector of devotees. His fierce and compassionate form is considered a symbol of divine grace and an embodiment of courage and righteousness. The story of Lord Narsimha avatar teaches us the importance of unwavering faith and the ultimate victory of good over evil, no matter how formidable the challenge may seem. I hope you learn. Jai Shri Narsimha.